When Star turns 14, Today is my 14th birthday! She gets the wand and quickly proves she's incapable of doing magic safely, so her parents send her to Earth. While we don't know exactly how long her parents wait to send her, when she does get to Earth, Marco's in school, so we know Star's first day on Earth at the earliest is the first day of school. Season 2, episode 11a, Hungry Larry, takes place during Halloween. I'm assuming the episode takes place in 2014 because the show came out in January 2015 and was probably written in 2014, so it probably takes place in 2014. Echo Creek is in California, and the earliest school starting date I found is August 4th, a Monday in 2014, so to give the most generous window for the timeline, let's assume that's when Marco starts school. Since Hungry Larry happens on October 31st, 2014, we know the first 23 episodes take place from August 4th, 2014 to October 31st, 2014. We know Hungry Larry isn't in 2015 because the season 2 finale Star Crushed is at the end of the school year where Star states she doesn't understand the concept of summer where you, you just, just don't, don't go, go to school. Because we know Star comes to Earth while school is in session, and Season 2 is the first time she sees the end of a school year, we know all of Seasons 1 and 2 happen during one school year. In Season 1, Episode 3B, The Other Exchange Student, the Gustav episode, Star wakes up to her 47th day on Earth. Because we know Star went to Earth with school in session, that means at least 47 days have passed since the first day of school. If we generously assume Star got to Earth on the first day of school, August 4th, 2014, then her 47th day is September 19th, 2014. The 20 episodes between Gustav and Hungry Larry contain 36 unique Star segments, and each takes place over at least one day, several spanning multiple days, totaling at least 40 days. There are only 41 days in that time period, meaning it is almost impossible for that many episodes to logically take place, thus already the timeline doesn't work. But I'm not done. In Season 3, Episode 10B, Lava Lake Beach, we learn it's Marco's birthday when the episode hits midnight. It's my birthday. From the show, we only know for sure the episode happens sometime during or after summer because Season 2 ends when summer begins and Season 3, Episode 7B, Sophomore Slump, is near the end of the summer. However, Marco's voice actor did a canonical livestream thing where he says Marco's birthday is November 28th, which means Lava Lake Beach happens on November 27th, 2015, the day before Marco's birthday. In Season 3, Episode 14A, Stump Day, we learn Star's birthday is on Stump Day. Marco throws her a quinceanera, meaning her 15th birthday. Between when Star gets the wand on her 14th birthday and her 15th birthday during the Stump Day episode, exactly one year must have passed. Lava Lake Beach happens before Stump Day, so we know Star's 15th birthday comes after November 27th, 2015, but we also know Star had her 14th birthday and came to Earth before Hungry Larry, which was October 31st, 2014. So Star's 14th birthday is sometime before October 31st, 2014, and her 15th birthday is sometime after November 27th, 2015, which is impossible, meaning the timeline of Star vs. the Forces of Evil is impossible. This is why I have a theory that Star is actually a time-traveling genocidal demon.